The Legend of Marnie Marnie was the total reason why Savannah Jones wanted to be a detective when she grew up. When Savannah's older brother Percy asked exactly why her sister wanted to be a detective, Savannah had a huge smile on her bright face. Well, if you want to hear the complicated story, ask Mum. But if you want to hear a fun version, that's my cue. Okay, I want to hear your version, Percy said with a grin. But if it's related to Marnie, then tell me Marnie's story and then tell me yours, okay? Because Mum never told me the story, Percy whispered. Hee hee hee. Then get some popcorn and make yourself comfy. Because here I come. Savannah got ready to tell her clueless brother about the sublime legend of Marnie. Marnie was born in 2007, a few decades before we were born, Percy. Marnie was hired to be a detective and she loved every second of her job. She worked for a company called Morphe Finders. But one melancholy day, Marnie failed to find the culprit. Her very strict and stern boss, Guardy McGee, got so angry at her for failing a mission for the first time that he fired her. Marnie was heartbroken. Her career was over. On her birthday, she had just turned 14. It was the 24th of July. It was her birthday and she flunked a mission. Marnie just couldn't get over it. She left without saying anything. She grabbed her bag and went. Her former colleagues missed her ever so much because she was the only bright face in the building. The few days after that, she applied for two companies called the Eagle Investigators and Spyco. Luckily, she got accepted in Spyco and she did solid work there. A few months before she turned 15, she had to attend an assembly. The assembly was going to be filmed for TV and it was going to be sort of like a prize giving. All the prizes, trophies and awards went to either Marnie, Marnie's best friend in Spyco, Charlotte, or some other people from Spyco and Morphe Finders. When Gordy saw Marnie receiving so many trophies, he thought for a second, an epiphany popped into his head. He realized he fired Marnie all because she failed one task. She felt sorry and later asked her to join Morphe Finders again. Spyco is going to close soon anyway. Joining Morphe Finders won't be a bad decision. I'm sure of it, Marnie thought, and she was right. Her colleagues were overjoyed. Gordy no longer fired people for minor reasons and in 2050, on the 18th of August, at the age of 54, she passed away. And ever since, she has been known as the best detective of the century 2000. Savannah paused for a second. And that is why I'm so inspired by her achievements and how she never gave up. Ooh, I'm so tired, Percy. I'm going to take a nap, okay? See ya. Ooh, indeed, Percy said with widened eyes. The end. Buy Hibba and subscribe to Hibsy's cookbook right now. Thanks for watching.